updates. Now, uh, typically, uh, how how does this look when it uh, when we are talking of the data plane? So, uh, the previously we saw the control plane, how things are established. Now, when you actually send a packet, what is it that uh, uh, you do? So, in this particular case, let us uh, walk an IP packet from uh, one customer uh, premises to, uh, let's say, the head office, which is CE1, to a branch office, which is CE2. Now, he sends an IP packet to PE1, and you can see below that the first process uh, that happens uh, uh, is that uh, you associate it with a particular uh, a VPN based on the interface on which you got the packet. Uh, and then you are going to encapsulate it with a VPN label, which is going to uniquely identify the customer. And then, uh, as I said, uh, one of the requirements is that you have a, an LSP built from the ingress to the egress. So from PE1 to PE2, you have an LSP that is built. Uh, so you add the second label, which is the tunnel uh, label, to PE2. Uh, so basically, uh, the packet gets encapsulated with uh, two different labels. One is the VPN label, identifying the customer. Second is the tunnel label, identifying the egress uh, uh, router. And uh, uh, it is sent on this, uh, onto this tunnel. So it goes through the, uh, the next router is P1, which is a core router. Now he's just going to look at the tunnel label and he's going to switch it to uh, a P2. Uh, uh, if you're familiar with the MPLS uh, concepts, there is something called as a penultimate hop hopping, which can remove the tunnel label if it is just one, if the egress is just one hop away. Uh, so that can possibly be configured or it need not be configured. So this is up to the service uh, um, provider. So once it reaches uh, P2, uh, the fourth process uh, that is mentioned here, he knows that uh, uh, what VPN the packet uh, represents. So he's going to strip off the VPN label and he's going to send the IP packet to C2 because C2 is the uh, only guy connected uh, uh, to the uh, VPN uh, customer which is uh, CE. So this is basically how uh, the data packet uh, flows. So we talked about this architecture in terms of the uh, control plane where BGP sets up all these paths and then we talked of the data plane wherein there's a lot of encapsulation uh, to ensure that uh, traffic uh, does not go between VPNs but it, it remains within uh, the VPN. So you can see that uh, there is a, this is a qu quite a complex uh, thing. So you can understand the kind of technology that is required to build these kind of uh, uh, routers. Um, all the big uh, uh, companies uh, are investing huge amount of money to make sure that this process is really, really fast. Uh, it has uh, enough resiliency built into it. Um, the, you need to have different kinds of uh, um, uh, processors uh, to help uh, achieve these kind of uh, capabilities. Uh, as I said, the kind of scale that we are talking about is to be able to support millions of uh, uh, routes. And uh, the resiliency is they want packets to switch in less than 50 milliseconds uh, across. So this is a huge science in itself uh, um, and 